Isocorp in Canada. Beaver Barracks is a highly energy efficient rental housing project in Ottawa. It is located in one of the most sustainable housing communities in the city. Beaver Barracks is one of the first Canadian projects to use Isocorp, a heat insulating, load bearing element for thermal brakes. Isocorp will be included in the project's construction to improve energy efficiency and create a structure that will last longer. The project plans have implemented Isocorp into the balconies of the Catherine Street building. Isocorp is used for the thermal partitioning of free cantilever balconies. It is available for connecting reinforced concrete to concrete. This German engineered technology is available in the Canadian market from Schuch, Canada. Isocorp lowers the consumption of heat in buildings, mitigates energy loss, as well as reduces balcony repair costs. Sustainable design and energy efficiency were priorities on this project. Addressing the issue of thermal bridging was a focus of this project. In fact, Canada's energy consumption in buildings has increased significantly over the past 15 years. I brought the Shock Canada rep in and he did a presentation to the project team. We had to have them on side to, to get this to go through. From the moment I saw their, their material and particularly the information they had about the reduction in thermal bridging, the cost savings in terms of energy consumption, I knew that we had to forge ahead with this no matter what. Thermal bridges are a frequent cause of heat and energy loss, damp walls and mold formation. The problem is common on cantilever components such as balconies. The solution is Isocorp, a thermal brake assembly providing a higher quality of living, higher indoor air quality and preventing the growth of mold, all these increasing property values. Essentially, uh, it's, not, it's not that complicated uh, a process. Well, there, are, there, are, there are a number of concerns of just how, how the Isocorp, because we were, uh, it's, it's new to us and it's new to our industry in Ottawa and I think in this part of the country. So there's a little bit of a learning curve with the consultants and the trade contractors to sort out uh, Isocorp shock, uh, help us out along the way. It became straightforward once everybody got on board. Oh yeah, shock were, were excellent. Uh, they paid us two site visits coming over from Europe. Their engineers in Europe were very good at uh, answering our questions. Shock was right there with us. You know, they didn't back away from it. They kept saying, no, we can help you, we can do this. And so having that kind of support from them, guys were saying, yeah, we can do this with you, uh, made a big difference to me in, in helping to keep moving it forward. No, just uh, pre-planning and getting your, getting your consulting team and your trade contractors, particularly your formwork and your rebar trades involved uh, at, 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 the, at the design process and, and pre-planning so, so that when the isocorp is on site being put into the floor plates, that it's a, it's a pretty routine, straightforward process. So really just uh, organizing ahead of time, getting involved with shop drawings, um, getting it organized. Oh, absolutely. I now often drive by looking at other, other buildings that, you know, they're from a, an older construction system where they don't have the insulated joints and you think, well, um, you know, if you'd use the Isocorp uh, product, uh, you know, it's a cost saving. It's not that difficult to do from a construction point of view and um, I, I think it's going to be an industry standard. It'll just take a couple, uh, couple of years for it to get into play, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's the right thing to do. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't pick up on a technology that they can market, actively market to their buyers and say, look at not only are we going green and, and building certain elements in your building, but we're making it very energy efficient. And this is one of those key pieces that, that would need to be incorporated into a building like that. If a little non-profit housing corporation can do it, I think uh, other developers can take that up as well. But in the end, it's, it's, a, it's a good idea, very good idea. For more information, please visit shook.ca.